All right, yeah, uh, made it out to Boulder Dash. I'm out here for Sedona, 2024 uh, Sedona Festival. Um, and I saw this trail new. They introduced it last year just after the festival, and, and it's Boulder Dash. And I'm going to be going down it, and I'm going to try to do a little breakdown of all the little lines and stuff. Um, I watched a couple videos on it or whatever, but like by no means do I know the trail at all. This is this will be my first time on it. And then, uh, yeah, I'll just go through. It, it looks like just from watching the videos, there's so many features. So I'll basically uh, try to do um, all the lines that I know of or that I can see or whatever. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. And then this is like initially the first feature and then Boulder Dash kind of goes off that way. So it looks like an up and over roll. So that'd probably be A line, uh, B line here. And then the next feature is immediately upon you. Got a little uh, up and over come up this line up. And I think you want to kind of bend off that way. Or you can huck it. Just a small little huck. And then right after that, uh, feature number three already. But the main line looks like people are just coming through here. And then you got two options. Small huck on the left, bigger huck on the right, and then you have the option of a little gap right there there's a little creek bed um and or you can go around the gap so a line on the very first feature yeah <laughs> yeah not smooth thank god for uh bottom bracket protector things i'll go back and do the little huck I'll try to carry it into that hug. All right, B line on the first feature to, I don't know, maybe this is B line on that one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> kind of have to do them all successfully or successive, I guess. Fun. So that's like immediately the first three features within 50 yards of the beginning of the trail. Right, yeah. We just came about another. 50-ish yards and we're at one two three that this is the fourth feature i'm gonna try to try to keep a, a running count here in my head um and right off the bat it looks like this is probably going to be the a line right here and then b line there a line probably just up and over roll yep a couple little chunks oh and then immediately into another feature so that'll be Feature number five right there. Yeah, as you can see, like I said, the features are like, like that. They're like right on top of you. So you got a, a line that goes around. And I think once you come up over, obviously, this is going to be the A line. Um, and I think it just bends you back around into the, in, into the trail like that. All right. This is uh, A line on feature number four. into a line of feature number five those rocks are so grippy oh my gosh that was insane and that brings you back around from the b line on feature number five all right uh just a short little one punch little climb up here and maybe another 50 yards at the most to feature number six um i mean i guess it's one feature but maybe there's yeah, there's definitely multiple lines on coming depending on how you come in to this thing uh, but it looks like most everybody just kind of rolls down it and then there's a little rock jump right there all right here's uh feature number six not much room to like jump on that off that little rock <laughs> all right and then we're into Feature number seven. Okay, feature number seven is, <laughs> I don't know if I could, there's like another feature right there, so I don't know if this should just be seven and that be eight. I think that's what I'll do. This is seven, two lines. Um, 
XC tires come in up and over, doink, 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 down, and then beeline around. And then, right there, we're already into feature number eight. There's multiple lines on this. Um, you can go down the rocks to the left or to the right. I think A line is going to be down here, and then you jump off those rocks right there. And then B line is just off to the left. It looks like A line would be the line because you can jump and carry your speed up the next little punchy hill. Whereas if you go B line, you got to go kind of shoot up that rock face right there. All right, here's feature seven A line. And to feature number eight. Oh, too slow. Feature seven on the B line side of it. Remember, A line right over that rock. And then A line feature number eight. <laughs> uh. so yeah feature eight right there come up and then you know maybe another 20 yards and we have feature nine looks like two lines uh starts off as one but then you can uh dive over hit the little drop or continue on the b line so. all right feature number nine i'm gonna go off the jump here And Jake will turn and use the outside boxer to help. Little hook. And then another sound feature. Up and over. And then this might be another feature here. Roll, roll. Oh, yeah. Um, What is this? Oh, this is an up and over. It's kind of weird. So I think the jump is uh, definitely the A line. I'll go B line and then C line. C line here. Yeah, just a kind of chunk roller. All right, feature 10, E line. Hey, yeah. Woo hoo. All right, so On to feature 11, a little bit of a traverse, a couple little punchy ups, get over here. Um, by the way, I did a video last year on Sunset Ridge where I kind of tried to do like some of the different lines over there or whatever. I didn't go as in depth as I am on this one, but check it out card up above. Yeah, I mean pretty obvious which side of the A line is here. A line, B line, and then they just join back up. All right, feature 11, A line side. Not too bad. All right, feature 11 on the B line side. <laughs> Skitter around. That was 11, so this is 12. Uh, I see two discernible lines, kind of a high line right here. Or this one kind of like more of a straight roller or a, or a huck maybe. And it gets you onto this berm, which is obviously just kitty litter. 12, I'll call this feature 13. Because you have to decide whether you're hitting it or not. Um, little rock jump or the obviously A line, rock jump, B line, go around. Feature 12. Try to do this A line on the left.
into feature 13, which was that A-line was the rock. Here's gonna be feature 14, A-line. Oh shit, I was gonna jump it. Totally lost, <laughs> skidded out. Uh, that was feature 15, skidded out and get Yeah, it. I obviously <laughs> messed up the it. count here and that was kind of almost inevitable as I was trying to remember. Up yeah, and over. Which feature I am on and which line. line and whatnot. So yeah, that was pretty much inevitable. <sighs> oh yeah. Uh, up, yeah, this is probably the A line, B line. Come where all the tracks are up and over and roll down. All right. Feature 16, A line side. Sick. Oh, this thing. This thing's jank, bro. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting a little tired, I don't know. Yeah, this is gonna be the A-line side, I mean, because that's very technical. It's not a very big gap. Um, but you gotta get your front and back wheel up on there. And then you're only up on there for a split second and then you gotta kind of pop off of there but i think i can hit this one so that was 16 this is gonna be feature 17 a and b and then 18 is gonna be that jump over there a little gap almost oh you can roll it try to gap it all right feature 17 the the b line This is feature 19. Got a little rock hop here for A, and then off the left is the B line. Uh, feature 20. That's probably this one of the more sketchiest features here. You kind of come in and you go up, and you have a steep rock roll, and you gotta definitely pull your front wheel up, and then you're into the kitty litter and got to navigate your way around through that corner there. I don't think I'm going to do this one today. Um, this beeline, I was, I can do that. Um, but yeah, it's pretty sketch right there. Alrighty. Feature 19 and 20. All right, 19 is going to be this little Hop right here into this is 20, the B line. Yeah. So after that, up and over, have a little rock thing there, and then in the feature 21 i believe a little double um luckily i think there's enough run out right here to get it let's get a good pop on it and then obviously a line b line and what is up here looks like there's some steps up and over okay yeah so you can come up or you can try to get up there so feature 22, I would say over here would be more of the A line and then coming on the left side of it would be the B line and then feature 23, I think this is a roll because I just don't see where you can talk to. <laughs> here, be straight flat. Oh yeah, it's a roll. Okay. So feature 23, uh, outside line, um, inside line for the A line of feature 23. <sighs> feature 21. Fucking A. Yeah, I obviously get a little uh, twisted up off the takeoff and in the landing and in the process I just freaking stick my hands out and kind of uh, 
tweak my wrist again. Um, never ending story. Yes. Got it the second time. B line. A line. Yes. Yeah. Glad I pushed that. <laughs> so you can see feature 22 and then the roll of feature 23 come around. And after just a few yards, back into more features. So it's 23. It's going to be. 24 B line A line up and over and you're gonna have to pull up at the bottom probably got like a, a two foot drop to pull up yeah so there's feature 24 as soon as you land you got to get set up and probably take you to the outside here which you can kind of you can either huck or roll it guess uh, I'll see when I get here how in control I am after coming off of that. I'm going to try to do that, actually. And then you got another kind of roll right there. Feature 24. A-line. Into 25. Ooh, and I kind of, we kind of used the <laughs> the inside rock to go off of. It was interesting. I'm gonna call this feature 26. It kind of just points down, maybe two and a half bike links or whatever. I don't know. I think I could do it, but then again, I'm out here by myself, and I'm getting super tired. <laughs> Been out here since like 9:30, 10 o'clock riding it's well after two so all right you know what i hate to bitch out but i think i'm gonna skip it but yeah it's just you know mere yards from the other features right there so this place is definitely feature packed man feature rich so the gap was feature 26 and just around the corner feature 27 have this up and over roll where you can get up here and hop off and then a mere few feet so you have an outside line and an inside jump line and then to also to another feature over there so that'll be 27 this will be 28 no shit and this is well, near feet away again 29 oh this is that other gap so you just come in through here yeah a line obviously and b line is <laughs> Kind of jank. Feature 27. A line. Yes. And, uh, oh damn it. <laughs> Messed it up. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get up and over this feature 30. Yeah. There's another one. Jump. Alright. 31. A line to the right, big jump, or not big jump, but a jump. There's 31. 32. I'm not sure if that's a line or not. You can go either side on that. Whoa. Sketch loose, bro. Thirty-two. Oh yeah, you can get in there. I don't know if this is 32 or 33, I can't remember. But I'm gonna try to get from that inside, inside line. Oh, yep, nope. Uh, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ.
already. Yep. <laughs> and that's that uh, infamous kind of like wall hip thing. Yeah. <sighs> I'm so beat. Yeah, but you kind of come in and you can kind of hip it to however high you want to go. And coming through here, um, I'm not sure if you're, this is supposed to be a jump, probably jump, just a little bit of one. And then, or you can get way outside, go that way, up and around, or you can kind of come through here. So many lines, I mean, probably at least four, five, six lines. So I'll just go up there and I'll come over the edge and <laughs> I'll see where I end up. Here we go. Yes. yes. Just had to get into the line. Ooh. All right. Yeah, after you drop uh, the rock garden and come down, steep up. Now I'm up here on this little ledge and I'm not sure if there's anything else. But let's uh, push on. Oh, breeze feels amazing because I am super tired. A couple of falls took it out of me right there. And I believe that's it. That was Boulder Dash. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. Yeah, Chris. Get your asterisk out there. Good job, bro.